So, uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 3.0. And as you can see, mine is already jailbroken, but I can re jailbreak it. And it's already jailbroken because I accidentally screwed up my other video. And I, um, it's, or I um, used the wrong version of Red Snow. As you can see, I used 7.2. And I'll re upload this for 0.7.1, but for now, I'll just use this as a demonstration. So, and to prove this is 3.0, I'm gonna go into general about and then version. If I zoom in, you can see that is 3.0 7A341 which is the latest version and on my computer if I go into iTunes here we go and as you can see it is on software version 3.0 and this is an iPod touch 2G volume rockers right there uh, I'm also going to show you how to do it on iPod Touch 1G, iPhone 2G, and iPhone 3G, not the iPhone 3GS, and I don't even have that. So, um, just type in this here, download the file, you know the drill, and then you get this, extract it, and then you get something like this in the folder, and then um, after you've got Red Snow, you're going to want to go and get 3.0 um, for the iPhone it's already free for the iPod Touch it does cost $10 so if you go to link in the description you can get 3.0 for the iPod Touch 1G and the iPod Touch 2G this is um, the final release Golden Master version <coughs> and I have no Wrap an idea what the hell happened to my desktop. Pretend that never happened. <laughs> um, and if you need it for, and if you do have it for the iPhone and you do not know where it is, you're gonna go search and type in app data. Oops. And it's a hidden folder. That's why it's all grayed out. And my computer is totally jacking up on me. And there we go. Now we're going to go into roaming. And Apple Computer. Even if you have a Windows, you're still going to go into Apple Computer. iTunes. iPod or iPhone software updates and 3.0 copy and paste that to somewhere like your desktop I can't show you that because mine's all black don't even want to know why and now you can open up Red Snow click browse and search for your IPSW which is the firmware and right here and then it should say processing firmware and it should be identified. If not, you might have selected the wrong one, like 2.2.1, something like that. This is only for 3.0. Now click next. It should download some stuff. Um, I already downloaded it, so go by it really fast. Make sure you check install Cydia, or else your jailbreak will do pretty much nothing. And now click next. And now make sure that it is plugged in. Mine is plugged in. Now let's turn it off. Um, make sure it is totally off. The spinny circle will have to go and then disappear. Um, you should not even. Um, you should see a total blank screen. It shouldn't be very blackish. It should be kind of like a light black, if possible. Why? Mm -hmm. There we go. And your computer should beep to say that your iPod is disconnected in a way because it's no longer giving off power so it thinks it's off 
or not there anymore. Now uh, click. Make sure you're ready for the next step. Um, put your finger on the power button to get ready. Uh, now click next. Hold the power button for three seconds. Now the home button, and it counts down for you, so no counting needed. And now just the home button. You shouldn't actually need all 30 seconds. Um, it should do it in about 10 seconds. Um, if it does go through all 30 seconds, you might have a problem. Or if it doesn't detect it in all 30 seconds, you might have a problem. And you might need to restart your computer. Three, two, one, zero. And now your screen should go white. That is normal. And then it should say uploading first stage. And what the heck is this? Okay. And now it should say waiting for a reboot. For some the reboot doesn't work. And I do not know why the reboot doesn't work. It just doesn't for who knows why. And it takes like 20 seconds for it to start recording again. And there we go, uploading second stage. Your iPod will not reboot the first time. It'll, and after that, the second and third time, it will flicker on enough. And now it should say downloading jailbreak data. Uh, well, when it says uploading RAM disk on your computer, this is a good sign. Um, your um, iPod should not close out at this point yet. So it should be like that and continue on because this is not the last step. I know some friends of mine that I've told how to jailbreak said that their iPod or iPhone just quit out at this point. Uh, it doesn't really help that much. Oh well. And now it should have a little spinning circle once um, there's a finish button on your computer. And the screen did get brighter. It's not, uh, it went to its original brightness, which is way too bright for the camera. for red snow and now you should get your slides on lock screen again and uh, nothing on here should have changed you should still have everything as normal as it was before except now you should have Cydia 